First, I want to address one of the I want to address two issues: the myth of inflation presented by my opponents, and the myth that increasing the minimum wage will cause people to lose their jobs. Uh, I will provide the evidence by uh, Drew, Sil Drew De Silver from the Pew Research, Cent Pew Research Center in a, in a study done in July of 2015, where, where it says that adjusted for inflation, the federal minimum wage peak in 1968 at $8.54 per hour. So it's $8.54 in, two, in terms of $2014. Uh, since it was last raised in 2009, to the current uh, 7.25 per hour. The federal minimum has lost about 8.1% of its purchasing power to inflation. So that means it's, it's not that raising minimum wage will affect inflation, it's that inflation is affecting the power of the minimum wage, the purchasing power of the minimum wage. Uh, the economists recently estimated that given how rich the US is and the pattern among other advanced economies in the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, one would expect America to pay their minimum wage to be around $12 an hour. What else? Uh, addressing the issue that people will lose their jobs, uh, back in 2007, uh, there were 1,000 business owners, including the women's Chamber of Commerce CEO, Margaret Dorfman, that wrote a letter to the president saying that higher wages benefit business by increasing consumer purchasing power, reducing costly employee turnover, raising productivity, and improving the product quality and customer satisfaction and company uh, reputation. According to Candace House of, uh, of UC Berkeley in a 2005 study, the living wage for this is just an example of um, the turnover uh, rate. In a 2005 study, a living wage for home care workers in the Bay Area found that turnover fell by 57% following an increase in their wages. Uh, according to Michael Rage of uh, the Institute of Industrial Relations at UC Berkeley, says in his, in his 2003 study, of the effects of a wage increase for the workers in the San Francisco airport found, found that annual turnover among security screeners plunged from 90, 95% to 19%. So before raising the minimum wage, the rate of uh, people quitting their jobs was 95%. After they raised it from uh, $6.45 to $10, $10 per hour, that rate went down dram dramatically to 19%. So this myth that um, people will lose their jobs, it's it's not true. It's not going to happen. Uh, people people that get paid more are more happy and are more willing or more um, are more likely to keep their jobs and look for something else. Uh, I'm running out of time, but basically that's it. People will not lose their jobs. People will stay in their jobs. Inflation doesn't affect the minimum wage. Again, my bad. Minimum wage does not affect inflation. It's inflation that affects the minimum wage. Thank you.